Oh, okay. I think I think yes. We're recording. We're recording. Risto. Yes. <laughs> I, I tell you, it's, I want, just want to say it's an honor for me to uh, to make this video because every since I've known Marco, he always talks about you. And then when I went there to visit, I got to meet you once or twice and work with that wonderful dream. Um, and this is really an honor. So thank you for doing this. Yes, thank, thank you for inviting me. And I, I, I try to uh, give something that, 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 that would uh, uh, be, that, that would uh, kind, kind of uh, give you the feedback that, that it is the worth of it. Oh, I know it's worth it. <laughs> oh. So um, I guess what I want to ask you just to start off is, um, is about, because I, I think with you it goes deeper than dreams and deeper than Montague Ullman. Do you want to talk about um, you were, anything you would like to talk about? That's what I'd like to hear. And I could make another video afterwards. But I would like in the end, maybe we could get around to the Montague Ullman. I'm gonna I'm gonna post this in the um Montague Ullman Dream Group Leaders section that I, I've created on YouTube. But anything you want to talk about, do you want to say anything? Yes, and I uh at first I like to uh, say a few a few words about my world view because then it's uh, easier to understand why I'm interested in in the, in the dreams, uh, <coughs> and especially uh, about the Montego Ullman method. Uh, uh, as I, 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 I call my worldview as a cultural pedagogical, because I'm interested in the, in a question how one learns to know oneself, how, how, how we learn as a people, how we learn, learn ourselves in connection to our environment. So there is always these two uh, elements. There is uh, I learning myself and the other. And when these two uh, elements are, are meeting each other, then happens something that I call cultural learning. And cultural learning is uh, where, where the both sides uh, uh, teach and learn from each other. And, and that always brings something new into the world. And that, that is something I, I, I have been interested in all over my life. I, I, I think that's a deeper, learning in, in, in a sense. Something, something we, we know happens when we look at how, how a, a child is learning. And so, so it is no wonder why I was very fascinated uh, uh, about uh, Ullman uh, experiential framework when I first time heard when Marco was lecturing about it uh, about 20 years ago. And uh, it's hard to say that which one was the, the more, more, more fascinating. Uh, Marco talking about uh, not knowing and the universum and all kinds of things like that, that and, uh, or, or uh, Ullman method. Bo both uh, uh, take both were something very very uh, unique something something that, that took me to took my uh, attention right away and ever since i have been uh, i have tried to be in, uh, an assistant for marco in because uh, because we, what I, I found very, very soon uh, when, I, when I learned to know Marco, that uh, actually there was Marco and some other guys in Finland who uh, knew this Ullman method, but there was no community to 
to carry it on. And and uh, that that's why I I thought that we need we need to have some some platform for for a, a, a common ground to people who, who who want to learn and study dreams and especially Ullman method to share experiences and knowledge and uh, a platform where we can support different dream groups and develop teaching and uh, applying of, of the Ullman method. Uh, that, that was my, my impression uh, very soon when I learned to know Mark Quinn. That's why we founded uh, SURF, Suomen Unirihme Forum, uh, Finnish Forum, Finnish Dream Group Forum. And, uh, but, but uh, we didn't want to make a society in a normal way. We, we wanted to have a society without any formality, a society where, where uh, that would be as dreamlike as, as a woman method is. And, uh, Then we were talking about it and talking about it, having meetings and having meetings. And then Pirio Marcus' wife said that now you guys, you really have to start it uh, and, and invite people to join, jo join your ideas. And then we found this beautiful dreamlike place in the lakeside, the place where also you, you visited some years ago and uh, that is a place where we, we can uh, come all the people can come without any other agenda than the green the dream groups we, 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 uh, today people come there start start the groups make experiments, share experiences, discussing, learn from each other. And there we can encourage people to, to ha have their own dream groups, uh, to start them. And uh, in the end of the weekend, the meeting decides about the next meeting. So, we are almost uh, uh, there. We are. We, have, we almost have a, a society without any formality. Uh, we have a, a small community of people who 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 know the method and who, who are interested in Ulman Ulman's uh, dream group, and so this. Uh, Surf Finnish Dream Group Forum exists uh, when these people come together. It exists in, in the different separate dream groups in, all over Finland. It is also in Markus' web pages and uh, Facebook and so on. So uh, our, our first uh, task in, in creating a, a common ground for, for this Ul Ulman method in Finland has, has in, in, in that sense succeeded. But when, when, I, and then when, when, I, when I think about uh, what, when I go back to the questions, uh, the reasons why, why this Ullman method and Marco were so, and are so fascinating to me. Why, why I did want to be part of that, that process it was I, I, 
I somehow <coughs> noticed that <coughs> there is a certain kind of paradox because uh, the more you focus on dreams, the wider landscape it opens. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it brings you to the, as Mark always is talking about, universum. Universe. It, it, it is, in the, in the end, in the Ullman method, it is not uh, about, it is not about only dreams, but it is about uh, some kind of uh, universal humanity. <coughs> Ull Ullman uh, kind of, I think Ullman found a, a spring where we can, uh, where, where, can, where we can uh, understand what is the heart of our huma human nature. <coughs> and it actually it is quite easy to uh, understand it because when we, when we think about what uh, the dream work teaches to us, it teaches us not only about dreams, it teaches us about how to listen to each other uh, and, and really listen to each other without covering uh, the, the other person behind our, our own opinions. And dream work, Ullman, Ullman's dream, Dream group teaches also uh, to respect uh, the authority of the, the other, which would which should be very normal, but it isn't. But in in a dream group, in, in a dream group, it, it is uh, very strictly uh, uh, said that. You, you always need to respect the authority of the dreamer. And, and <clears throat> that should be the case in every, every situation in, 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 in our normal life. People should have uh, sovereignty about their own, own lives when, when they are discussing, working together. Also, I think uh, very interesting is that Ullman's method teaches us uh, how to uh, guide open processes. Because when we, we start a dream group, we don't know where it leads us, where it brings us. It, it, it is something that we, we, we have to be ready for, for a certain kind of uncertainty. And, and then, then in the in the end, we all, we only know what is what, what was the idea of, of the the process. <coughs> then, uh, Ullman Ullman Dream Group uh, also gives us tools for using our intuition and uh, emotions as as a research for knowledge and it is a systematically uh, it's a system systematically uh, uh, arranged tool tool to to understand that also emotions and 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 uh, intuition gives us important understanding and also, uh, what I think is very interesting, and why I, what is probably the most uh, important reason I, I enjoy every dream group is that it is a platform for uh, cultural learning. Uh, it is a place where where I can sense a little bit about uh, some something about uh, the otherness when when i listen carefully to the dreamer or, or or the other participants 
I can feel the otherness touching me and, and then I really learn something new. So these things that, that there are, of course, there are many other things that, that Ul Ulman Dream Group uh, consists and, and, and teaches us. And these are not only, these concern not only the, the a dream, these, these are about our, our basic uh, humanity. And that's why I think it, it's even more valuable than, than we, we, we can understand. And that's why I think it, it should be a, a part of our, our culture in every, everywhere. And uh, to, to make it uh, 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 more, more uh, known part of, of uh, our culture, I, I think that, and I, I personally am I'm, I'm, I'm interested in developing applications uh, out of the Ullman method. <clears throat> because uh, the, the experience, uh, how, how valuable it is to be able to, to share dreams and, and some, somehow understand the dreams, how, how much, how, how valuable it is for our <clears throat> life. I, I think that it, it, it should be part of everything we do, do here. And, and every, everyone should, should have a dream group every now and then. Uh, <clears throat> about these applications, uh, I could give a couple of examples. One, one, one way to, to uh, apply Ulman's method is that we can take any, any piece of the process and bring it to some, some other environment. For example, uh, making open-ended questions. Uh, what does it mean when in a workplace people are able to make open-ended questions to each other when they, when, when they are developing their work? Uh, uh, discussing with each other. You only imagine what kind of uh, atmosphere there would be in a work, workplace. Another thing to, to what, what we can apply anywhere is using the roles. Uh, when we have the role of a, a dreamer and the role of the group, it means that uh, in any 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 case, any 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 place where where people want to uh, develop their ideas, create new ideas, it can be started like that. The one tells his or her ideas, and then the others uh, start to play with the idea, bring their emotions there making open-ended questions about it. And in the end, the key person who started it uh, decides what is, what, what's, uh, uh, you, you, what, what can be used and what is uh, important to him or her. And in a similar way, there are, there are, uh, uh, endless uh, ideas that we, we can take out of the Ul Ulman method. Then an, an other, uh, other way of uh, applying Ul 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 Ulman experiential dream group is, is some, to take somehow the whole process and turn the, turn the process into some something uh, something else, uh, but not the three dreams. <clears throat> uh, for example, our, our latest uh, application starts 
it is an application that, that is meant, meant to workplace development. And uh, it starts not out of a dream, but so that some, someone in a group uh, shares a flash-like picture about the, the true workplace situation something something that is that happens in the work and then it continues so that the group uh, shares their feelings what this flash like picture awakes in them continues with the open-ended questions and then we bring the uh, process uh, far away to the uh, dreams of the key person, uh, we, 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 we open uh, the ideal of the work. And then even there, the group helps uh, with uh, open-ended questions and, and uh, so, so that everyone can uh, feel what it, what the work would be when it would be as it should be, and then we come back to the uh, uh, everyday work situation. We, we discuss about the uh, nearest future, about the about the work. Uh, <clears throat> And in the end, uh, both the key person and, and the whole group uh, are able to see the work a little bit differently. They have found some ideas. They have they have found they have learned to understand each other, and and they, they can uh, make changes in the work. And then they, then they actually know. Of what is the direction they want to develop the, the their work and workplace and the whole whole community, <laughs> and this this is something that works because we have been applying it uh, in the field of uh, uh, public elderly care uh, with with the staff people who are working with. Uh, with uh, old people, and uh, <clears throat> it has been very, very uh, rewarding also to to be able to share the, the, the these uh, dreamlike experiences about uh, how how very practical uh, things can be developed by using this kind of uh, approach by trusting emotions, intuition, and uh, understanding what the common, common uh, work brings there. <clears throat> but again, uh, when I go back to the idea that, that there, there is so so few people who, who know the dream methods and, 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 and what should we do uh, to bring it to the uh, a wider consciousness. Uh, it is not only that we develop uh, application about the method, but uh, I think we should have courage to uh, also research and even uh, modify the Ullman method itself. And when I'm, when I'm saying this, I'm, I'm very much aware uh, how, how, for example, Marco uh, <coughs> uh, is uh, the opinion that, that uh, it is a method that there is anything that could be changed, that need to be changed. It is, it is brilliant, perfect, ready. And actually, my wife Riley is also the, that opinion. Uh, 
she has a long experience with many kinds of coaching methods and when she first time had an experience in 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 Ullman dream group she immediately said that this is something i would like to use because it, it is really there's nothing that needs need to needs to be changed uh, and i actually in a way i agree uh, I, I i'm i also think like that because ulman has found something that that he, he, he brings us to the to the basis to the essentials <clears throat> but what i've noticed very soon when we started to when i started to work with with marco was that it was not so easy to learn the method people who started with ulman dream group were very easily kind of confused what is what is actually about with with this even when it's in a way it's it's kind of simple it, it's very it is not so complicated in in itself but uh what do the different phases mean what is the purpose of different phases what, what <coughs> in a process why we are doing this and why we are doing that and uh why why the whole setup the whole uh, choreography is 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 designed like it is and uh that's why i think we should <coughs> we should be asking all the time about the purposes of the different phases no and not only to repeat it as we have learned it <coughs> because uh, and that's what we have been doing also in in our annual seminar we have been we have been kind of playing with the uh, dream groups and 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 we have we have, we have made made experiments uh with the different phases and uh i would like to give a couple of examples of what i mean <coughs> and why why i think it's important uh one phase is the uh, very beginning when the dreamer has shared his or her dream we have a permission to make these clarifying questions what happens very often we start making questions uh, in order to understand the dream not not we, we are not satisfied only that we 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 understand what the dreamer told us but uh we, had, we we somehow we we want to deepen and wider the picture about the dream out of the the picture that the, the dreamer uh, did share to us and and very easily this uh, this part of the dream group uh, gets bigger and bigger we we have endlessly different kind of question that that are we think that they are important they are important to ourselves as a group members but in the end we can not we understand that they are they have actually nothing to do with the dream itself <laughs> And, and we have made experiments where, where we have uh, made, made a common ac agreement that, that uh, we keep this part very, very short. We, we, we just, uh, we, we only make question that, that uh, 
uh, makes us cer certain that, that, that we, we understand to what the dreamer told us. And so we, we can go further to the dream and uh, save our energy and time to the, to the later parts of the, of the process. <clears throat> Of course, it is very interesting to make these questions, but but uh, uh, it, this is an example uh, that we, we can, how it is important to to ask what is the purpose of of the phase, because then another part of, uh, I go to the playback part, the phase where where the dream is read again and the dreamer is listening to the to the dream. And again, my experience is that uh, very often the group and the dreamer uh, are in this part already quite tired. Uh, it is somehow exhausting to, to have this very intensive, interesting but intensive process. And uh, very often it happens so that uh, the <coughs> Dream is read, and the group and the reader, the dreamer, are listening to it in, in a certain kind of passive uh, mood. And when a, when a dreamer is asked whether something comes to her or his mind, uh, his association doesn't open. <clears throat> so we have, we have. Uh, we have uh, uh, concentrated on, on what kind of instructions we give to the dreamer. And, and we, uh, we ask the dreamer to follow the reading very actively, trying to uh, imagine, trying, trying to sense the, the dream and feeling and immediately when something uh, occurs, some, something awakes her or his attention, the dreamer interrupts, uh, interrupts the reading and tells what comes to her or his mind. And uh, also the group is uh, asked to be very active and very to follow very sharp, sharply using their intuition and, and when, when whatever uh, in, in a dream uh, awakes their in, interest, they should point it and, and uh, ask the dreamer to associate about it. <clears throat> and this is, this, is a, this is a part that, that can be like dance. It is a dancing kind of pa part where, where where the association starts to uh, uh, mm, mm, kind of fly and 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 uh, there opens uh, flashes uh, uh, also in the minds of of, of the participants they, they can sense that now the dreamer are 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 feeling something very important. And, and again, what is the purpose of this playback phase? Uh, I explain it uh, for me like it, it, is a, it is a part where, where a dreamer uh, uh, connects the dream in, in the meaning system of, of his or her. The, the, it is a, it's like, like parallel, parallel uh, with the uh, mm, uh, emotional landscape, there is also this uh, uh, meaning system that, that uh, is uh, is around the dream and where, and where the dream is connected to. And this this playback part opens these connections. And that's why it can be uh, astonishing. Uh, 
moment. Uh, it, it brings astonishing moments when, when the dreamer uh, all of a sudden understands something about the dream. Of course, this, this happens also when the uh, uh, dream group leader is uh, uh, very skillful and, and sensitive. Uh, uh, I have seen, uh, for example, Mark and for, uh, also you, Bill, uh, as, as you have been uh, leading this part, it is uh, something amazing that, that how, 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 uh, how you, you, your intuition brings you to the right po points and, and you can ask the uh, dreamer the, the questions that, that, that opens the dream. But I, I think that, that everyone in the group should be able to understand what, what, it, what there happens. And then, uh, uh, the last example uh, is the orchestration part. And uh, <clears throat> there is also, th this part is kind of uh, almost the dif most, most difficult to explain to, to a new beginner. And, and e every time we, we, we make dream group, we, we oh, again and again we discuss about it how we should make this orchestration part <clears throat> and there are different opinions how to make it and uh, here here i uh, put myself in the role of a dreamer what is uh, what is uh, the way of doing this what gives me the most uh, I personally am not so interested in, in hearing uh, the participant having their uh, speeches one by one uh, and oh, uh, kind of trying to explain what they think about the dream uh, because it, it kind of uh, closes the dream. What I what I enjoy is is an open dialogical uh, discussion where, where the group can can kind of throw their ideas and when when the group uh, uh, understands what what is my position as a dreamer that the authority is is me uh, then then they. Uh, they, they, they don't have to be afraid of, of telling what they think about the dream and that gives me material to, 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 the, to, to my own thinking and uh, also we, we should probably uh, widen this, this, this part, this uh, orchestration part methodologically so that that uh, we not only uh, have speeches but we we can uh, make poems we can uh, uh, show we can act we can uh, make drawings or <coughs> anything that that <coughs> brings to the dreamer the mirror uh, uh, from from the participant. <coughs> so, but this is my opinion as a dreamer. <coughs> I, I know that there is a, a, a other kind of uh, uh, other kind of reasons to to keep this this part uh, in the hand of the the leader, or, or or have have some kind of order there because it is it is a very sensitive part that can kind of uh, uh, <clears throat> go out of our hands. But, uh, but again, this, this also again wakes uh, the question of uh, how we should be open to different kind of possibilities 
and 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 when when we ask uh, ourselves not only uh, how Ullman has uh, designed the process, but what are the purposes, the meanings of of the different phases and the the, the whole dramaturgy of of the process. Then we probably can can uh, make a more flexible use out of the process without disturbing, without destroying the the insight of the process. The the, the basic uh, elements that that actually are, are the one who makes the process so so uh, fascinating, so so healing. Uh, so so unique and uh, as, as, as kind of a <clears throat> conclusion of my thinking I would say that if we want to have people uh, uh, if, 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 if we want to uh, have people understand this method and, and uh, uh, to come to use it and and uh, apply it so so I, I think we would we, we should uh, have the courage to uh, give give people uh, ownership to, to the Ullman method it, people should have the right to uh, ask about it uh, to question it, to, to, to research it, to open it and, and, and to, to make it something that, that uh, feels uh, good for them. <coughs> and and, <coughs> and uh, that's, that's how I, I, I uh, that, that is something I, I, I believe that uh, is needed if, if, if we want to make it more widely known what uh what should happen i think because it is so so uh, the genius method and and, and the, the research uh, what ullman has made uh is so is so valuable for for, for us uh, as as a whole humankind as as ullman said that there is no uh way dreams could save the world but 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 uh, to show that that the world is worth of saving <clears throat> so these kind of thoughts i i have about this this uh, about my 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 experiences about Ullman experiential dream group Could we talk a little bit, have a little bit of discussion now at the end? Yes, yes, yes. I feel that the one thing I've noticed is that um, people, a lot of people can't, cannot get out of their head. And what the Omen Dream Group process does is it gets people out of their head. And the yes, reason yes. the dreamer cannot understand her dream is because she can't get out of her head but the yes. process gets her out of her head yes there's um there's something deeper in us than our head and it's bigger and deeper the process yes. gets us to that point where we can receive things from that deeper level yes and, um so in in light of that i'm just going to go backwards i took some notes um I'm just going to, I'm going to go backwards. Okay. Yes. I, respond. I hope you respond too. But yes. like, here's an example. I had a dream group, an online dream group. By the way, I'd like to invite you to the, to my online dream group. I don't know how the times you're five hours behind us. So it would be at this same time, like right now, but I have a dream group every, every Sunday. So that would, I don't know what that would, I guess that would be Sunday there too. So I guess it would be Sunday morning there. But if you'd like to join, we'd love yes. to have you. 
and to, to obviously you could, we could then we could talk about these things with the actual examples. But here's what happened yesterday: we are working with this interesting dream, very very interesting dream, from a woman who I didn't know how interesting she was until this dream came out, and it sort of blew me away. This woman was really onto something, and um, there was in the group. Now I hope I, I don't know who's going to see this, but there there was in the group someone with experience with Jungian dream work, who yes. someone that I really respect recommended to me, and this person came into the group for the first time uh, from Europe. And in the, um, this person wanted right away to say this, and I said, please hold it off to the end, you know, for your, what you call your um, orchestration, okay? Yes. But what this person did, is he got into the image of a, the, in the belly of the whale. You know that Jonas in the belly of the whale, that, that whole yes. Jungian idea of, um, yes. anyway, he got into that whole thing. And um, in the dream, it had to do with a tunnel, an underground tunnel that was a dead end. Yes. The, the, the dreamer thought she was a tunnel. She could see the light in the end of the tunnel. But when she got to the end of the tunnel, it was a lamp on a desk. And it was a dead end. There was no way out. And the, the metaphor that she arrived at was the kind of work she used to do for Japanese clients. She didn't want to do anymore because it gave her no room to develop her deeper spiritual self. It was a dead yes. end job. That's, that's the image. But yes. the man with Jungian experience, he got all involved in this other thing that was completely unrelated to anything the dreamer told us. So he was into his own head, his own ideas not into yeah. what the dreamer told us. And people, yeah. people like that have trouble realizing that the secret to this method is to stick with what the dreamer tells us, only what the dreamer tells us. This idea, oh, I know better than you, throw it out. Yeah. We don't know better. We don't know any, <laughs> the dreamer tells it. And so I feel that the orchestration, I mean, when I used to do it in the beginning, I used to have a lab or long orchestration of Montague and hated it. And I would <coughs> tell everything about the dream, what the dream would mean. People, one guy in my dream group sort of copied that and he got to do it. When he did it, I saw, gee, there's something inhuman about this. There's something wrong about this, you know? Yes. And that's not what it is. That's not what the orchestration is to show how brilliant we are in ideas and everything, what it means. We know what it means. I think, think the orchestration, the function of the orchestration is to tell the dreamer, I heard you. I heard yes. what you said. And that is yes. so important. That's so yes. important. There's nothing we can say that's as important as that. And it's like the 11 blind men with the elephant. Each one sees a different, different animal, you know? Every person in the group does the same thing, but it's completely different. And between them all, the dreamer really feels like she's been heard. And that's yes. the, the magic. And I remember when I first did a dream in Monty Ullman's dream group, I was blown away. I felt, my God, these, these people see who I am. And I never felt, felt before that anybody saw who I was. I think that's, a, that's, that's the benefit. A lot of people, I think, they get all involved with other things. But that's the benefit. Yes, and, um, yes. yes I, I agree. And that, that you put it very, very good. Uh, and and very touching way that that to 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 uh, to be heard, to to have the the sensation that I, I have been heard. Okay. I, I, it is one of the very basic things in in, in the methods. And this this yes. thing yesterday was so interesting. I decided to write it up because it's so interesting. The dreamer, the dreamer had this dream. She had two dreams the same, but she had this dream, and she was woken up by her her family who woke her up out of the dream. Are you okay? Are you okay? Because she was yelling, no, no, no. She was yelling at the top of while she was dreaming and sleeping. Now, yes. in the dream, she was yelling, but she had no voice, like in The Little Mermaid when she sings and she has no voice. Yes. And so, of course, what the dream means is she did not hear. She was not listening to her own voice, which was yes. try to get out of this kind of job. You know what I mean? This is not for you. You've gone through a different stage. And yes. It's so interesting. She said that she couldn't be heard, and yet the people in the room with her heard her yelling when she was asleep. They heard her. She had a voice, 
It's just that she wasn't listening to it. That's so important that mm -hmm. and these, it's these subtle discoveries that, 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 that the dreamer herself always discovers it, but she doesn't notice it, you see? So yes. our job sitting out there is to notice what she discovers and tell her that we notice yes. it. And then all yes. of a sudden, oh, you know, you're right. <laughs> That, that, so it's not about exactly. us, and people cannot escape their ego. That's our whole society mm -hmm. is it yes. encapsulates us in this dysfunctional ego that's fucked up the whole planet with all the environments and, and the whales and the, the, the polar ice caps and the rainforest. It's so sad. Yes, yes, and, um, absolutely, yes. I, I feel that this process is very healing. This almond process is healing. I believe that it should be in the university. I, I give the course in the university. How come in Finland nobody does that? Why isn't it in the university? You have all these experts there. Uh, <coughs> uh, what did you ask? Why in Finland uh, is, do, 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 do you people who are so good at this process and have it so developed, why any one of you could be an adjunct at the university and offer a semester's yes. course yes. in the Omen Dream Method? I yes. do that. I'm a nobody here, but I offer that course, and I think you could do. Yes, of course, yes. It is uh, because the, the society is, is so uh, stuck with, with the traditions. And uh, actually, my wife Riley has, has tried to have this uh, dream group in, in this called, uh, uh, <coughs> it is not uh, this, uh, it's kind of open, uh, not open university, but 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 open open uh, open teaching in in a, in a municipal level, <coughs> like like in in libraries or, or or things like that. Wonderful idea. But 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 uh, another problem, uh, of course, that that. People, people don't understand what is it about, and and uh, they 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 don't participate. So so it is a it is a kind of a bad circle that that people don't know the method and they, they they don't participate. So so for example, universities, open universities, uh, summer universities, they could take it in their program, but but uh, there is no. <coughs> No one, no one to participate. You know. So it is a it is a long process, long 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 road. But I call my course <laughs> dreams and self discovery, and people do not join because of dreams. They join because of self discovery. They want to know who they are. Here in Taiwan, yeah. the student goes all the way through school, and they teach them all kinds of garbage, but they don't let them discover who they are. And so self discovery yes. is what this is about. Yeah. Because when you discover yourself, whereas yourself and myself. What we're discovering is the world, what you call the environment, the community. That's what we're discovering. That's our real self. It's the community, the environment. Because we're, like the Buddhists say, we're really selfless. We're part of the earth. You know what I mean? Whether you know, whatever you call it. And um, anyway, I, and also I feel there's another problem. I feel that so many people, the moment they think of dreams, they think of Freud. The moment they think of dreams, they think of Freud. Yeah. And it's like yeah. locked in. People cannot break that connection. And <laughs> someone once said that the problem is not, the problem is not what we don't know. The problem is what we think we know, but we don't. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know? yes, absolutely. Yes, that's, that's the same when, when Marco speak about uh, not knowing and, and understanding that we are not knowing, yes. <laughs> I, I, um, I, I feel like you ask about the, the the role of each process. I, I wrote a piece about that and I'll email it to you when we get off here. But I looked at this very deep, very closely because I think this, I think this, I think you're right. I think Monte Gorman's process is really a genius of organization. I yes. have no idea. I think it, it was his personality. He put his personality into the process. He was a, a rare and enlightened man. And, um, but I feel that each stage of the process, starting with the questions that you talked about, Yes. It's to bring the, there's a dreamer and here's a dream. And each stage of the process brings them a little bit closer and closer and closer. Yes. So finally yes. it all opens up. Yes. And for example, in the questions at the beginning, when the dreamer, I, and also I feel that should be kept very short. That should not yes. be, 
go on. When I first started, when I did the context, sometimes the context would go on for two hours. That is insane. These mm -hmm. steps can be very short. They don't need to be long. If, if you're, it's long, it's because you're no good at what you're doing, you know? It needs to be short. And only questions about the dream, nothing else. And, yes. um, and I find one useful thing is when the dreamers ask these questions, the dreamer remembers new things about the dream that she didn't tell yes. us, you see? It brings her closer to the dream. And so yes. we get closer to the dream and closer to the dreamer. Um, anyway, so um, well, where was I? I, I think, The play, Montague Oman said the playback is a dreamer's orchestration. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. the dreamer discovers. And I think one, one problem is it's like, a, like you have a group as a bunch of wild horses. If you let them all loose, they're going to just stampede all over the dreamer. You know what I mean? And the poor dreamer is not going to have time to say anything. I think it's yeah. really important in the playback to give the dreamer, just be quiet and let the dreamer speak what comes first. And yes. just wait. And if she doesn't say, <laughs> if she doesn't say anything, then ask her. And I always start out with the beginning. I said, "This happened to you. That happened to you. That happened to you." But you went to bed and you had this dream about this other thing. And yeah, I don't need to ask a question. Just say that. And the dreamer suddenly starts thinking, "Well, gee whiz, that's true. Why did I do that?" And then she gets an idea. Yes. And that—that's yes. the purpose. Is the dreamer to get these ideas, yes. not for us to tell her anything. You know. And yes. it's very, the playback is the muscle, it's the muscle of the process. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, yes. But it, there's so many ways to go wrong. I think you really need a leader there who, who guides it. And, um, uh, and yes, you need, need a leader, but <coughs> there is also some kind of power in the, in the group. Oh, no and doubt about it, no doubt about it. Yes. And if, you, if, if the group understands what, what, is, what is the role of the group, it, it, can, it can be enormous uh, help to the dreamer. There's, there's no doubt about what you say. And I wanted, to, um, I wanted to, um, to mention, I don't know where I made that note, but I, what I think you've been talking about, I was listening to you. I'm interested in these things too, of course. And we all see it from a different angle. But I feel that we have made a huge cultural mistake all culture, a huge mistake is education epitomizes this. They treat, they, tr they treat intelligence as if it's, a, if it's a function of the individual. It is not. It is not. I, I read the, the new biography um, about Einstein. It's an interesting story. He was involved with this group of people all the way through. He did not come up with that theory of relativity by himself. It was these different people. And also one of his girlfriends played a huge role in it. Everybody says Einstein. It, it was, it's the community. We have a communal intelligence. And when we gather together, Monte Oman created this genius of a process that brings out this community intelligence. And that's, that's our, each of our, our own genius is a community genius. It's where we connect, mm -hmm. it's where we get smart. When we break ourselves off, we become stupid. So I, I think that mm -hmm. that's the power of this group. Like, I think you were talking about that a lot. I think you're right. Yes, yes. And you said it's not so easy to learn the method. Um, I think you're right. There, there are people, there are people that have difficulty with this method, but I think it's learnable. I, I've been working with other graduates. I'm talking about business majors, engineering majors, people with no interest or proclivity in that direction. They learn it. They can learn it and they can do it with their own dream and they're really happy at what they get. People can learn. It's just that we're not taught. We're not taught in destruction. We're taught in the opposite direction. And look at this, look at the result. The result is horrible, you know? I mean, look at, look, at, look at America, the leadership in America. Look at the leadership in China. Look at the leadership in Russia. Look at the re leadership in Turkey. Now look what's happening to Poland and Hungary. It's, this is the wrong way for civilization to go. Um, I mean, in Finland, you're lucky. You have a country that works. Um, in Taiwan, yes. it's the same way. There's a country that works. But um, we're going in the wrong direction. I really feel that. And I feel the Omen method is so important because it points us back in the direction that's true. 
and points us in the direction of our collective intelligence. All of us is a group. I, I think you have that genius in you that you know. Um, you say it should be part of our culture everywhere. I think you're right. You're right. <laughs> what can I say? You know, um, you say Almond's method is not only about the dreamer, but about some kind of universal human. You know, I can't tell you how much I learned when, we, when a dreamer does a dream and makes sense of her dream in the group. Mm -hmm. Mm. Who, who? Now, it's not like psychotherapy. Oh, I, I, my, my man's Bill. I'm going to help you. I'll figure you out. I'm going to help. No, it's not that at all. I'm the one that benefits from her figuring out her dream. I'm the yes. recipient of a large yes. S. You know, I never, I don't deserve to be exposed to so much intelligence as all these dreams expose me to. And um, we've got it wrong. We, we treat the dreamers as clients. <laughs> I, I disagree with the whole therapy. Montague Roman said definitively, this is not therapy. This is healing. Mm -hmm. And yes. I, I feel that's very strong. Um, I think what you've done in Finland, I think is so special. You and Marco, the way you've organized is so different than the, what they did in, in Sweden. And um, so different than America, what's happening in America. I mean, I, I, it speaks volumes. They, they did what you did. Um, yes, it, that is in progress. Uh, we are not, uh, it is not uh, in its goal yet, but, but it is, it has been, uh, we, we have, we are, we are almost there that we, we, we have some kind of small community that, that can, can kind of uh, take care of the, 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 uh, Ullman dream group uh, meetings and, and uh, uh, that can kind of carry carry the method uh, so, so without anyone being the one who decides what happens. Right, right. What a beautiful, what a beautiful concept. I, when I first set this all up, way back in the, um, I guess it was in the, maybe the last year of 1970s and the first year of 1980s or second year of 1980s, when I first set this up, I set it up as the dream community of New York. And the idea was of a community. That was the idea. I had no tools. I didn't know anything. And I did that. And later on, I met Montague Allman. And I realized that his whole process is about community, really. And this work with dreams is intricately tied in with community. Now, it, it went in a different direction in America. It's not about community. It's about profit and uh, money and and all that yes. stuff went in a completely different direction. Um, yes. But I, I, I like the way you, you say, you have this sentence, you said, that it brings something new into the world. And Monte Oman compared it with having a baby, with being a midwife, bringing something mm -hmm. new into the world. And I do think that we have not brought enough of ourselves into our world to make us beneficial. Someone once said that if, 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 all, if all the ants died, Tomorrow, everything in the world would go extinct. But if all the people died, the whole world would flourish. You know, yeah. we have yeah. not brought enough of ourselves into the world so that yeah. we can be like the ants and make the world better. We we don't do yes. we don't bring enough of ourselves. And I think you're right. This process that you talk about, um, in the way you're doing it, everything you're doing, is about bringing something new into the world. I think that's wonderful. I'm so glad to make this video with you. And I hope, I hope you'll make another one if you want to think another one. And also, I'd like to video your wife. Or she, would she be interested in making a video too? Uh, yes, she's very interested, but uh, it is about uh, timing. timing. For, for a moment, she's kind of busy. She, she has uh, a couple of writings that she has to uh, get ready during the summer and then then, then uh, she, uh, you need uh, you need to prepare to 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 make make a interview so so uh, <clears throat> you probably later later uh, in the end of the summer or, or something like that she, she, she would be she would have, have better time well, Mr. I'm not in a hurry um I <laughs> no hurry. Uh, I'm really glad to, to make this video with you right now, though. You know, the thing is, 
the reason I started doing this is because in order to, because of the pandemic, the, the virus pandemic, I couldn't meet anymore in my dream groups here in Taiwan. We couldn't meet in person, so I went online. And when I went online, something funny happened. People who had been in my group and traveled, gone to different places in the world, wanted to come in again. So it's turned into this international group now. Um, yeah. It's and it's um. In order to do that, I had to buy this Zoom, this Zoom program for a year. I think it's a hundred dollars for a year or something. You can yeah. get it for free, but to, to talk as long as we need for a dream group, we had to. Yes. Yes. When, when I got it, I don't, I only use it twice a week. You know what I mean? I only have two groups a week. I only use it twice a week. But I thought, gee, I'm wasting it. Can I use this for some benefit? And it suddenly occurred to me, I can make video of these people, these people that I would really like to, to showcase these people because the Omen group is happening, but it's, it's not getting out there. You know, I, I, went to, uh, to, I went to Thailand and I walked into a little bookstore and one of the first books I saw was a Freud's book on the interpretation of dreams. That book yeah. is everywhere. Freud's ideas are everywhere. Allman's ideas have not gotten everywhere. They're nowhere. <laughs> Nobody knows about them, you know? Yes. And so I would like to, to make these videos, use this since it's free. I, I've, I've paid for a year and I would like to uh, record you or your wife, anybody in, in, in Finland you know about. I feel in Finland and Sweden, is, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel it's purer than what I found in America. I found in America so much stuff has gotten, it's, it's changed in a way that's, it's not, it's not to my liking. Whereas when I went to Finland with you people, I saw something that I, that I realized, oh, I can learn here. And I, I like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's, we can all, we can always learn each other. Uh, I, I, I hope the vi video is something that, that one can watch because uh, I noticed that it is not it is not so easy to to use English in expressing my ideas. I I it it, it I get stuck every now and then because I don't find any words. So so it uh, it's probably not so pleasant to look at that kind of uh, talking. Risto, what I could do, but, uh, if you're interested, I could make a video where you speak entirely in Finnish. And I, I, won't, I, I won't, maybe I'll say some one or two things in English, but in other words, it can be a Finnish video and I can post it. And then you can share it with people in Finland. I don't know if you're interested in that, but you could do one in Finnish. I don't think there are many videos in Finnish. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if uh, uh, people who people who would be interested about that probably know know already, and uh, I, I, I don't think it it, it I, if if that would be so so interested for them. To, to, to hear me on, well, and you're like talking, speaking in English, people in India can hear you and people in Taiwan, yeah. and people yes, yes. all over the world, yes. you know, they can yes. hear what you're doing, they can meet you. And um, yes. have you read, yes. have yes. you written a book, Risto? Do you have a book or anything? Have, have I read? Have you written a book? Have I written a book? So a book you can show on the screen so people could could um, buy your book and <coughs> no, learn your ideas. Not, 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 not about the dreams uh, and and uh, oh, oh, some books I have to uh, I have written in Finnish, of course. That's a very different language, no Finnish. Yes, yes. It's amazing to know that language. Yes, I, 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 I have uh, my, my learning, I have a learning project that I, 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 I'm learning uh, Icelandic. Icelandic? Because I, I uh, yes. 
uh, because I, I I want to study how I learn the learning process is what interest is interests me and then uh, that is a long process and and uh, some uh, some day I'm going going to write a book about that but it, it is not uh, it, it takes a few years at least have you been to Iceland yes yes Wow, how so interesting. Well, I, I think we, we have to end here so it doesn't get too long. And um, I want to thank you very much. Yes, thank you for inviting me. Well, anytime, anytime you have something to say, okay? Just email me. Yes, yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.